10, how many minutes ago? Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Sabbath Session Podcast. Today we have got two guests. Someone that uh, everybody will probably be familiar with. Mr. <laughs> Joey Diva is back for this episode. And we have for the first time ever, we have got Pemi on the podcast. So these two important guests, let's say, they will be helping myself and more to do the Sheffield series because the other two guys will deserted us today. Thank you very much. So uh, let's move on. One of you guys, you have your echo coming up. So put your devices. Good to Is go. that better? Good, better. So let's start a conversation, guys. Sheffield 2024 is down the corner. It's coming up very, very soon. And we all probably been watching how these guys been training since um, Malta. Some people have competed. Some people have posted massive numbers in the gym. So first of all, let me just start by asking all of you across the board. Who do you guys think is coming in really, really strong from both men and women? Just one name. No, so, so, just one person. Let me start with Tommy. Oh, women. That's really hard because, you know, I love the women. Um, can I give three? Can I give four? One. <laughs> but I love Sunita and I love Amanda and I love Carlina and I love, oh. So Evie. we'll go, we'll go okay, Evie. I'm going Evie. So you don't love Evie, that's why you, you get I'm going Evie because I love Evie. Evie, like, Evie's amazing. And I love Sunita and I love Amanda. But I'm going to go Evie. I'm the men's go. side? Um, I'm going to say Keiko. Keiko. I'm going to say Keiko. The friendly giant, like, you know, definitely Keiko. Um, I want to say Tony, but, you know, that's just me being patriotic. You know, Tony's not playing about. He's coming, you know, to show these Americans who runs Sheffield. So, you know, but I'll, I'll say Kinko. Joey? Uh, as for those coming in hot, not necessarily who I think is going to win it, but uh, those coming in hot, I think, is Kelly. I mean, you know, because, for, for, on the men's side anyway, because, you know, he saw what Kiel did at, you know, at Euros. He's going to be fired up to show that He's a 74 to be watched out for, even though Kiel did get put on as for the reserves. Um, you know, the, the fixed state for 74 is still pretty much Kelly. And as for women's, um, coming in hot, I you know, I back my girl Carlina. Like, like she's she's putting some monster numbers for squat and and like deadlift. Bench is coming up there too. So yeah, everything's on form, everything has how it's looking better than it did last year, considering she did the Commonwealth prior to. Yeah. Um, so she's had a bit more of a prep for this one. No. Um, for me, on the men's side, it has to be Jesus Oliveras. He looks ridiculously insane right now. Um, and then on the women's side, for me, it definitely has to be Evie Corrigan. The question for her is, will she be a repeat champion for Sheffield, which is massive? Oh, two P. Yeah. I mean, that that's those are the, basically the ones that tell me back are last year's champion. So, they're the heavy favourites right now. So, Interesting. I, I, I hope and I wish uh, Rishi Sunak is hearing this, but all of you immigrant, none of you guys have picked Tony Cliff. Well, for me, I'll go for TC. Well, I think TC is coming in really strong. I'm not trying to protect my British passport, but I'm going to go for TC on the men's <laughs> side. And um, on the women's side, again, I think I, I will echo pretty much what um, 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 Temi said earlier, a lot of women are coming on this one very, very strong, but <laughs> Sonita is scary to me, Sonita. It's just when you see someone do, you know, what she's doing in training, it's just like, yeah. But overall, I think it's going to be a very interesting one across the board. So we're looking for a very, very good chef film. And um, before we go into our picking and uh, the, talking about the performance across the board, I'm going to throw this out there. Do you guys think this coming Sheffield will be better than last year? If yes, what is it making you think that? Let me start with Joey. I think yes. 
purely because last year was pretty much kind of like testing the waters on what an event like that, you know, what what magnitude it would give in terms of like the peak of powerlifting performance. Uh, so it was a huge success your last year. This year, everyone know knows how it pretty much works. I mean, it's gained a lot of traction. Ticket sales is, you know, 100% sold out. I mean, it can only be onwards and upwards from here. I mean, there's there's that, and as well as, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Jaren, but the purse has been increased. Yeah. Um, So, you know, the interest for it is only going to, you know, yeah. snowball effect onwards for the foreseeable future. Yeah, great, and great. And Mo, so what's your take on that? I think it's bigger. Honestly, I think compared to last year, it's funny because every on the women's side last year, all the women, we knew a lot of women were going to break records. And it's the same for this year. In the 84s, 76s, 69s, 52s, 57s, there's records going to be broken. I think this time the men also have a higher potential to break records. You know, mm. Last year, the, the, the cast was good, but this year, really, Jesus carried the men's side. This year, we have a very good lineup. And we could potentially see records being broken from the 66 all the way to the 120 plus. So 100% this year is a lot more exciting than last year. Is it because yeah. you're not here this year? <laughs> I mean, I tried my best to live up to the hype, you know, two days' notice. Not, it's a tough year. <laughs> two to days' fight. notice? Two, two, two days' notice. notice? Two weeks' notice. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, um, I think it's definitely a lot more exciting this year. I, You remember last year I got tickets and I didn't really want to go. This year when Aaron messaged, I was like, I'm going. Like, I'm definitely going. I'm so excited to see the women's lineup. I feel like the women's side of powerlifting is just evolving and I'm so excited to see the 84 plus because to me they're so inspiring because out of all the classes that was for me anyway one of the weakest class and then the last two three years they are proven to be like the most exciting class to watch. I remember a few years ago do you remember when it was the 105s at the men's um, British with the deadlift battle? It was that exciting to watch. And so I'm definitely excited to see the women and then obviously the guys. I think for me, right, I'm going to be a little bit um, on the fence here in terms of like whether this year is going to be. I know in terms of ticket sell, the noisy and all of that stuff is better than last year. But in terms of like the performance of people on the platform, I don't know. You know, I still have that thing in me where I'm so skeptical to say it's going to be amazing on across the board, women, men and women, just because those world record last year were pushed, you know, and some people across the board during the year, they've pushed some of the numbers, especially look at what Shell did at the 84, I saw at the 70, um, 74, he pushed the world record by 10 kilo. So... Mm for that world record to be broken again. So you're expecting Carly to add what? Pretty much 20, 30 kilo, maybe like 30 kilo plus on his total, same with Tim. So that's a lot of weight, you know what I mean? Especially to add on the top of a world record. So that's what I'm thinking. Yes, the women's side will be exciting because we know women always come in from the gates and they just come in smashing. But because of one thing we saw last year, there was a lot of risks that were taken, which is understandable because Sheffield is a world record breaking event. People have to come in massive weight and all of that. So would that work this year? That's the worry for me. So if these ladies and men, they come in starting close to this world record, I don't think we're going to get excitement across the performance. But these world mm. records have been pushed. So when you get close to it, that's a lot of weight. We're talking about, for instance, example, Carlina comes in with the squat. Let's say, oh, I'm going to open with 220. So if you open with 220 squat, where are you going to go? Right, what's your I next? I think, I think that's all dependent on the game plan of that the lifter, though. Like, yeah, that's I mean, what I'm saying. Last like, year, was, the risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lessons okay. learned from last year. I mean, there were people that were, like, pushing numbers they shouldn't have pushed for. Mo. Oh. Um, <laughs> very limited, and, right? bro, bro, you came home you came home on a rent and you're going you're going for more <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes yeah, so. the production is going to be much better as well so mm, all the things we had last year I think that's definitely going to be improved this year as well 
A thousand percent. Me, it's just like the performance of people on the platform. That's I, I really want them to do well because that's why I've ordered my Vuvuzela is coming. I want them to do really well. So I don't use my voice. I use the Vuvuzela. But at the same time, I'm just worried about those, um, those um, what do you call it, those um, criteria that I gave there in terms of like the world record being pushed. If people come with the same, almost what Joey said, game planner last year, we're going to be picking up a look. Last but, year don't think, but don't you think that's what also makes it exciting? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I agree. I agree. And the last year, well, it, I was going to say, it's, it's more exciting to see it actually broken than just to just to have the hype of like the attempt to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it's gonna it's gonna have a sour taste, and, and every viewer is like, well, this is just me personally speaking. It. It's gonna leave a sour taste if it were if it was the case where. There's, there were a lot of attempts to break it, but then there was a lot of like misses as well, as opposed to there was the odd few here and there, but then it was actually like, you know, taken. Mm -hmm. I mean, last one, guys, is would we get anyone bombing out this year at Sheffield? Because last year we didn't have any. I think so. No. You think so? Wow. I think so. How many? I think it's going to be interesting because you've got to think about it, right? One thing that we love about powerlifting is the chess element, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. Everyone's chasing that world record. Everyone's chasing that big pocket. Everybody wants that record. Now, if you pick the wrong number and you don't, let's say you're deadlift, especially for the bigger lifters that love to hit it up. They don't get it up cleanly. You first attempt. We saw what happened at Worlds. I mean, we saw it happen at Sheffield last year. Exactly. There was, we, um, there was a British lifter that chose the wrong number at least minimum three times. Never know, name no names. That was definitely no joy because joy didn't do that. But, <laughs> but let, let's, for example, you know, the bigger lifters that, you know, find it quite difficult getting the bar all the way up, lock out, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So we could see it happen. Yeah. If it does, it'll be interesting to see. Joey, mm. anyone? Do you think we'll have anyone bombing out this year? No, I, I, I don't think so. Purely because, you know, like I said, there was president set last last year. They know how it all works. It, it was the first of its kind last year, so everyone was pretty much like, I don't know, it, like, so to speak, like dipping their toes in the water. But now, you know, they've pretty much got, got the grasp of it. There's a lot of people that did it last year coming back to do it again. And those that are doing it for the first time, I mean, if they if they didn't do their homework, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have to. If should they ever listen to this podcast, I think they don't want to repeat any like mistakes that was done last year. For me, because we have got newcomers in the roster coming in, I'm not saying this will come from the newcomers. I think the intensity coming from a lot of these guys will be different because almost a lot of people, especially these new some of these newcomers, some of them believe. Oh, if I was there last year at Sheffield, I would have done better than the people that were there. And now I'm there, I will show them what I'm capable, what I meant. So these mm. will lead to errors. And then I'm me saying that, I reckon we will get bo someone bombing out this year. We will get it. You know, I reckon we will get it. I don't know whether it's going to be on the men's side or on the women's side, but it's not going to be a clean sweep like we had last year. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, so, are we, are, we, are, we allowed, are, we, are we allowed to ask who you think is going to run out? No, we're not allowed. That's, that's, a, that's a personal conversation I had with that person already. And then, <laughs> did you have this conversation with Mo last year? <laughs> I did. I, I, did. I, you know, I told Mo, I said, to, I told Mo, don't load your squad, don't load your bench, do the deadlift. That was personal. <laughs> but after that, he proved me right at the end. But anyway, now, getting no, to... So, so me thinking though, I think... Are we, a lot of these men have, a lot of the men and women have seen Sheffield, you know, they've seen it at a high level, they've seen it at a high standard, and a lot of them are returned, you know, they're coming back, they've done the first Sheffield, they're looking to most likely work on mistakes made at Sheffield last year and also more to IPF boards, because a lot of people, a few of them didn't have, actually have a good IPF board competition. So I doubt we will see a bomb out. I think what most likely we'll see is people open light and then take a big jump too close to the world record or the world record on the second attempt. I, I I I really hope it is like that because that's gonna yeah, be no no one's gonna mess up. You, you there's money from first to tenth place, so you're not gonna risk bombing out 
I'm missing out on even though it's a thousand pounds, right? Just for sending for world record. True. Mm. So even when you come twelve, you get a thousand pounds, isn't it? Uh, first to tenth, eleventh and twelfth don't go anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tough world. I was about to ask how much you got last year more, but let's move on. Um, I got two, two point five, I believe. That's still more than uh, a lot of British. But you could have gotten what again? <laughs> That's not good. Are you? Can you get? Can you deliver the sixty-six world record yourself? <laughs> There's no guarantee. I don't, know. I don't know, but I was I wasn't the one at Sheffield, so you know. Yeah, anyway. again, don't matter. I, I, I could be at Sheffield. I could be at Arnold. It doesn't make a difference. It's still world record, you know. <laughs> Moving on. So yeah, um, let's start with our pieces, and of course, and the storylines across the um the women and the men. Of course, they will be having some battles, right? When you look at this year, the nominations so let's start with the women. On the nomination mm-hmm. side of the women, we have got battle between lifters of like for instance in the 69, we have got three lifters, Agatha, Leah, and Carola. Carola. There's some stories there we're gonna talk about. And on the 57th, we have got um Jade and Na- uh, well, Natalie Richard. Again, stories we're gonna talk about there. 52, there's a battles, of course. Um Tiffany, she's herself, by herself. Carlina this year, unfortunately, we're sorry. She's alone. I'm sure Carlina would love to be alone. She's always been a lone wolf. That's why she got a 600 total at the Commonwealth by herself. So <laughs> she'll be fine. And uh, of course, the 84s, Amanda Lawrence. I mean, what can you say about Amanda Lawrence? From like, since the time when I knew Amanda Lawrence, when she came out world, she was always in that world of herself no untouchable until today and i don't expect her this to phase her in terms of like, oh i don't have a competitor i think she's just going to do well and of course one of the battle that will be in battle of the day the two ladies the two friends best friend now they're calling themselves but let's see when they eat themselves each other on the platform the 84 plus sonita and uh, Brittany. so yes guys let's start with um, the lighter um, ladies in terms of like performance what you've seen today i mean performance at mortar because that's really important to uh, think about mortar you know what you've seen in their trainings the way it's going and also what do you think potentially these numbers might be at sheffield so let me just remind everybody on the ladies side the 70 uh, the 47 world record total say uh 400 428.5 by tiffany herself the 52s is ev uh, 460, 70, uh, 57, that's Natalie Richard as uh, 512.5. Um, 63s is Carola. We can't really talk about 63 because we don't have no one. Um, uh, Sheffield, it should have been Carola, but she's moved that to weight class. So let's just talk about it. 69, which sits uh, 549, which is lower than the 63. Probably that's one of the incentives why Carola went up. It's much easier for her to go up and then it's just in the 63. And of course, the 76 is Carolina, 600, as I said earlier. Of course, Amanda Lawrence has got the 84s, uh, 645. And of course, 84 plus is 693.5. So let's start with Tiffany. Joey, any yeah. news that you have that we don't know about Tiffany? Uh, Nothing that isn't already been posted by her. And... Yeah, like the anything that's could have been, you know, left behind closed doors. I don't know anything behind uh behind it all. But I just wanna say she is one of the few women's um that's pretty much chasing their own records. You know, like she's got the squat record to beat, the bench record to beat, not the deadlift record because Connor has a hold stat and you know it's 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 not exactly within her wheelhouse just yet, um, to beat. Um for Tiffany anyway, but the total is definitely hers as well to like, you know, chase her own. Like, um, that being said, you know, the squat and the deadlift, she hasn't surpassed since last year, Sheffield. So, you know, technically speaking, that she's had a whole year to try and progress those lifts. The bench, you know, she's progressed since Malta and, you know, she's been training hard. She's been definitely touching more than what she's been doing, what she's done in the past. Uh, it's just a matter of execution and, and yeah, getting that bag for each of those world records broken. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got to say about the f- Tiffany Chapon 47 show. Cool. Um, in terms of the world record, because she is set at um, 426, we said there, um, 
No, he's a 428. 428.5. How much do you think she's going to push that record? Total wise? Yeah. I want to say a minimum of like 7.5 kilos. Minimum. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, the, the bench is drastically improving. Like, she's hit like 105 yeah. in training. Um, she's, well, from what I recall, she's been training within, you know, a comfortable like cutting range. So it, it shouldn't really truly affect her. Um, like when when there is a cut to be um to be had, uh, the squat is improving massively too. I believe she's hit one six five in training, and obviously the world record sits at one six one. So I mean that's what I'm saying. It's you know seven point five at a minimum. I think that's a fair, uh, number to you know declare that she can add on to the toll. Uh, as to whether which lift she adds it on, I mean it could be two point five per list, or it could be you know seven point five. You know for the deadlift, like, for some miraculous reason. But knowing how Sheffield works, obviously she's going to be chasing for her own, like, squat and bench records. Um, deadlift, like I said, like, it's not within her wheelhouse. She's actually going to play that one smart and just add on to whatever, to the total um, that she, you know, she's within her means to. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Um, yeah, Tammy, um, Stephanie, so... Again, she's she's a world record holder, as we said, four hundred and twenty eight point five. You know, world record holder in the squats, one hundred and sixty one. Bench press belong to her as well, ninety nine point five. Do you think she has got the strength to break these numbers at Sheffield? No, I think she definitely does. I think she's very similar to Amanda. She has no competition, so she can literally just focus on herself focus on what she needs to do so that she can break these records. Um, Joey said, what, she benched 105 in training and I'm just scrolling through her Instagram and yeah, that 105 looked nice and comfortable. So she's still got plenty more in there. And we know that that's probably one of the lists that she, she's not, it's not her favorite. So she definitely has a lot more to come. It'll be interesting to see her deadlift. That's what I'd like to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, the, the, again, right, because this is the, the the world record event, the deadlifts they are 200 kilo by um, <laughs> um, at, at, at the corner. And I don't think that's something any 47 would be thinking. But I still believe Tiffany is someone that can pull something over 170 if she has to, to, to make up that number. And um, yeah, Mo, on your, on your side, and again, Everything the guys talk about Tiffany here in terms of performance. The reason I just wanted to touch her alone because she's on our way class alone. That's why I want to take these individual about her themselves before we tackle the battles. So what do you think about Tiffany? I think Tiffany is basically running a race by herself. Now the question is, is she healthy? Um, we haven't seen a lot. Normally leading up to the previous Sheffield, Tiffany was posting heavy. And she was posting totals way above the world record. She hasn't really done that. Um, I mean, she's posted a 4.30 and the bench has been carrying that total forward. But the deadlift doesn't seem to be there. So it'll be very interesting to see if she can replicate that deadlift. Um, it'll be very interesting if she can replicate that bench with a deadlift. And then that means Tiffany's going to be fired for a podium position. Mm -hmm. Right, that puts her maybe 3%, 2% over the world record. So it'll be very interesting. I hope she has a great meal and I hope she comes in nice and healthy into competition and she can push the standards, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just want to remind everybody who's listening to us that Sheffield is about the percentages you add on top of that world record. As Mo said, all depend how much these guys got. To, I mean, as Tiffany we mentioned here, has she got what it takes to add that 3%, 5% to that world record? So if she does that, that will put her in the position to be on the podium or to be top five. Because I reckon this coming Sheffield the percentage to the world record in some of the weight class, it will be massive. It will be more mm -hmm. than five percent because, especially on the the other weight class, we're gonna to touch like the sixty nine and um, the eighty four plus. I mean, for my take on Tiff, I think she has got the strength to break these world records. She has got the strength to get these numbers. But again, we have not seen much of her since Malta. You know, we have got we've seen one lift here, two lifts there. But the Tiff that we always know that. She'll be totaling, as more mentioned, there above the world record every now and then, even on a slipping day. It's not been happening. So I just hope she's healthy enough to come in and put on the show. But regardless, I think she's a, 
she's a fasty animal you know what i mean she will come in she will she will do what she need to do to get those especially that's what world record is a bit interesting just to see where she end up and um moving on from tiff again like on the 52s this there's a battles on the 52s so we just we just gonna let me touch down on this one a little bit more this battle with sheffield and we had this battle in mortar and we're gonna have this battle again in sheffield it becoming almost like a legendary battle you know between evie and um naomi at sheffield last year we all know the story evie had to drop down to get and compete against Naomi. And of course, if he won, the, the, the rest is history. In Malta, let me just touch down about Malta. Malta is the one that scared me the most in terms of like how much progress Evie has made over that three, four months. It was a three months since mm -hmm. Chef. Because a lot of people that compete in the Malta was the excuses of some of the people was, oh, we just they just had Sheffield. It's really hard to prep and get a good or uh, a, a block in for the world championship, which is understandable. At this level, it's really hard for you to add 10, 20 kilo on your total within 12 weeks. It's hard because you're peaking every 12 weeks. It's very hard. But what Evie did in Mortar, she matched the world record total, refused to take her last deadlift. And even if you see some of her lift, there were no like grinders, mm. right? To me, that sign showed us we need, when we're picking winners for Sheffield this year, no one can ride that girl up. And especially even after Malta, she did the New Zealand Nationals. She took the 480, I'd just been a slightly heavier. Mm -hmm. That is just insane. So going back to that, whether I'm, uh, um, I feel, uh, Evie is much stronger than Naomi. Yes, she's much stronger than Naomi. You know, unless Naomi been doing things in the background that we haven't seen. But the way things stand right now, for what Evie has shown since Malta, is almost like, as I said in the podcast I had with her, I said that she just want to take the piss out of it. But unfortunately, now there's other women that she need to think about. So to me, that battle is Evie. But Naomi, is someone that never gives up. She's like, I've said this in the past, she's like a mad dog. When she's stuck, she's stuck on it. You poke her, you better run. Do you I know what I mean? That, um, and I don't want to seem biased, but one thing I've learned about champions is you can never write a champion off because their mindset uh -huh. is completely different. So that's why, like, you know, the, it's going to be awesome to see the battle. My money's on Evie, um, but it's you can never write a champion off. Oh, yeah. I would definitely say the same thing. I think um, well, one thing I found interesting, Naomi's had this run in the in her weight class where she's not really, she, until um, Evie came down, she never really had any competition. You know, mm. the, the storyline was wake up, turn, compete, and take her back home. Um, and then as Shepherd, she was surprised. Honestly, she genuinely was surprised. She did not expect that competition. And then she tried her best to prepare for Malta. But well and truly, I feel like after the the show at Sheffield, she was partially injured. I remember talking to her at Sheffield. It just wasn't clicking. Now she's taking time off since Malta. She's taking time off Euros. She'd had time to build. You know, like, honestly, Naomi's bench could do with a lot of work. And I think she does have a bit of a weird technique due to the back angles and everything. But if Naomi is able to pop a decent amount of a bet on the bench, I've seen her doubling 190 and deadlift already, which means she might be 200 deadlift. It's not 460. It's not screaming 460. But Evie's not having a great day and Naomi is clicking, right? I think we're going to have a very, very serious battle. I 100% see Naomi getting close to the world record currently, or even not surpassing that by a little bit. Now, Evie's 480, you know, which is ages away. She's done that already, right? But I think Naomi will pop a very, very good fight if Evie's around that 460 mark also. So mm. uh, now the question on these two, but do you think the EV 480 uh, in the national, would she replicate exact same thing as Sheffield or would she do more? I'll go start with you, to, uh, Temi. More, like, I don't think there's anything she can do wrong. Like her mindset is phenomenal. Her work ethic is phenomenal. Her attention to detail is phenomenal. She's got a great team around her. You know, she's cutting quite a lot but they cut and the way they cut works well for her. 
And it's not the first time that they're doing it. It's not the second time. So they have a routine and a system that works. And one of the things that I was talking to somebody about today is it's about systems and protocols. If you can have a good system and good protocols put together and great work ethic, you create somebody like Evie. Now, her last post, um, one week to go um, before she leaves, she comes. She um, she did 162.5, 105 and 200 deadlift and none, nothing looked hard for her. Mm. You know, and she's been smart by coming nice and early to make sure that she doesn't use the distance as an issue, which mm -hmm. we know a lot of athletes do do, but she's being smart because they've got that system and their protocols in place. So mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think she's losing this. And that's why I do think she's my favorite to, you, you know, to win it. To Joey? Oh yeah. So I know we haven't really mentioned this, but with regards to the battle between these two, it's actually one of the rare, uh, weight classes where n neither of them have the world records in a specific discipline it all belongs to someone else so when it comes to this kind of battle that they have it's not going to be about the singular lifts at all because neither of them like have the you know have the that squat or that bench or that deadlift to be anyone po quite possibly only maybe maybe the deadlift by uh for you know, farid i believe that's the name uh yeah for Hannah Farid sorry with the 208 deadlift and you know Singapore. yeah from Singapore so it's all going to come down to the total and how much more they can add on from what they've like, what they've done before I mean like you said you know she's she told the 480 uh relatively more weight um you know at her nationals so Evie has that advantage like she's felt that weight before she's had the experience of like moving that specific total it's just whether the question is whether she can replicate the same thing if not more on the Sheffield stage but you know she's she's done a comp in between she hasn't had a much rebuild time as Naomi not since Malta anyway and like you said Naomi's not going to give up without a fight yeah. um, but like again I know it's just I feel as though I'm just like regurgitating what everyone said but with the whole systems and protocols that that's been replicated like successfully in the past Evie has that clear cut advantage yeah. unless Unless Naomi somehow figures something along the way that could be like, you know, this is what would work instead, as opposed to what she did doing before. But yeah, yeah. the the picks the picks on Evie, she's the favorite. Um, nonetheless, on that, that way, class. So I think I I, I agree with you. Um, in terms of like for everything um, you guys say there, but at the same time, um, <laughs> when you think about someone totaling four eighty. Uh, 52 kilos regardless what platform she's doing it yeah it's just incredible um mo on on your side any last thought there before we move to the next no absolutely i think evie versus naomi will be a very impressive battle but honestly right now we have to give evie her accolade she looks amazing honestly she looks like she could win this i'm running the numbers and every single time I open up a page, I'm just like, what the fuck? This is insane. <laughs> uh, like, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. It looks hopeless for the rest of the members. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, um, we have to give her accolades. Well, it'll be an interesting battle. I don't under right now. I mean, I think she's an absolute, she's a champion. She's got the heart of a champion. She will fight. She will succeed. And she potentially might make podium if she has yeah. a great match. So we, we touched down on the three women already, right? Um, um, I'm going to try and kill a little bit of time here in terms of like, what because at this time until then there is every world record is five thousand mm. pounds how much money do you think until where we are in this position Tiffany to uh, uh Chupon will be walking home with forget about winning it forget about placing i'm talking about just world records because the score bench deadlift that's fifteen thousand pounds right do you and think total. huh no total what is it? total to give you overall placing yeah He's involved uh, as well. There's, there's no bonus. No, there's no bonus. It's just right, overall placement in general. Yeah, oh, the overall placement, okay. So, do you think Tiffany will be walking home with, at this point, with £15,000 total, or would it be £10,000? Which is two words. I think 10000 I think 10000 realistic. Right. Yeah, 10, 5, 10K, 10 bags. Um, I'm just going to go with the boys. 10,000. Okay. What about Evie and Naomi? This is a battle. 
who's going to be walking away at this moment with fifteen thousand pounds? Evie. Do you think Evie isn't going to break score, bench, deadlift? I don't think she'll break. I don't think she'll. Yeah, I score. think she's definitely going to do deadlift. The way that so it's five, so five, so five k. But I think she's definitely going to do deadlift. What's the um um record for bench? Uh, okay, she's walking. <laughs> she's yeah. walking away with the deadlift. Yeah. And, <laughs> Let's more, get what about more? I think five k for five k for um for Evie and then potentially five k for Naomi Softy for the squat. For the squat. For so the squat. Maybe, just basically, SPD will save ten thousand pound already because five thousand for yeah, <laughs> Tiffany and five thousand pound here. Moving on. So on a fifty-seven guys, um, there is um N Natalie Richard and Jade Jacob, which is which was a, a wonderful match in Malta. Natalie was the first world championship for her. Come in, she flex and one best lifter. Man, uh, that was criminal. That was that was an insult to everybody else that went to Malta, right? For someone that's never done international, come in for the first time, not just win the class, but win best lifter. To me, that nothing in Malta that amazed me than that performance, right? Again, Jade Jacob is someone that you don't give up on. She's young. The recovery rate is really high, you know? The only person I can relate here, probably, oh, no one in this podcast because more has been six. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> no, no one. Um, Temi, Temi is almost a master. Me, I'm an old man. And Joey doesn't. Speak me, I'm right. not almost a master. Yeah. So no one can relate. But in terms of that, that was, I mean, going back to this, that was, to me, that was the performance of uh, the, the, the competition itself. I'll throw back a question to you guys. You've seen what Jade, uh, Jade Jad has done in training. You've seen what Natalie has done in training. Just a straight question. Who do you guys think is going to come on top on that battle? Who's going oh, first? Who's, who's going first? Who's going first? Oh. Ladies, ladies first. Ladies first. Kimmy, go on. I want to say Natalie. Um, and I'm not just saying Natalie because of Kelly, but... Going through her Insta, her training is going so, so well. And she's posting numbers consistently. You know, um, her 227 deadlift, like, she was so excited about that. And it moved so well. And I'm like, she can easily put a 10 kilo on top of that, 5 to 10 kilo on top of that. Yeah. Joey? I'm going to pick a Judd. Why? I don't know. It's... Uh... Like, call me a believer in someone that's comfortable in doing what they've done before. But, you know, she's re returning to the Sheffield stage. Like, she's she's done the whole, like, you know, dance before. Like, and, you know, she's got something to prove. Like, she got... Why are you sounding like Delaney, bro? you done the whole dance before. What's wrong with you? Oh, we'll get to Delaney after, innit? We'll talk about you as well. Anyway. Oh, my... Okay. My, see, on, on, my, on my sheet, I have both. If, if this was a competition where both of them go on the platform and pop the best numbers, I think Natalie would win. Right? I think Natalie would win. And the only problem is because I feel like Jad will overreach, unfortunately, on that last deadlift. Uh, mm. Jad has an amazing deadlift, but Natalie also has an amazing deadlift. So the battle is lost in the bench, unfortunately. I think both yeah. of their squats are close enough. I think Jad will play smart and she will load the world record on the second attempt potentially and get that money and maybe reach for 187.5190. Whether she gets it or not changes the game. But I'm going to give mm. her 185.5, right? That gap is now too bench. on the, the, gap, the gap is too big on bench and she's going to over, have to overreach because Natalie is going to lead on some total. And if I deadlift almost the same as you, I'm not stressing. I'm just going to wait for you to reach and then I'll pull what I need to do. Um, so I think that's where it's going to be a difficult one. Now, if Natalie's chasing Sheffield status, you know, she's chasing to win podium place, Jad can 100% win this just like that. Because both of them, there's only 0.5 difference. Honestly, top end, 0.5 difference, one kilo difference between both of them. And Jad is a junior, which is insane right now. Um, so yeah. it'll be very exciting to see what happens. But I'll probably give Natalie this one because she's also been hiding the training opponent is going very well. Yeah, I think me again in terms of like I just can go for what I've seen, what has been posted so far, and 
I mean, um, Natal has done 175 for, tri for triple on the squat. That's a lot of weight on the 50, as a 57 kilo. I, I, I know some people that are on 84 plus or whatever, they can't even do that thing. And that's just ridiculous. You know, even I know Tammy can do that for five. That, that I only been recently. But anyway, moving on. Um, so again, the strength there, like the top end for Natalie is just ridiculous. So I see her taking this, as Mo said, it's all depend about what Natalie wants. If she wants that Sheffield bag, as the American calls it, then that's when Jade can easily win by just one mistake because that's how amazing Jade, uh, Jade is as well. It's one mistake and that loses everything. Yeah. Again, I think I'm going to ask the same question I asked earlier on this one. Who's walking away with what in terms at this point? Who's walking about with, with fifteen thousand pound, or who's walking with five thousand pound here? I start with Mo. Um, I'll probably say five or ten thousand for Jard, and then potentially ten thousand. Um, sorry, five or ten thousand for Jard, potentially five thousand for Natalie. So Natalie will only break the world record what bench deadlift. Deadlift. Yeah. Even though Jad has a bigger deadlift than that. Bro, 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 bro. Let, let's rewind no, it. Do, now, this is the Hold reason on. why Mo, I say Mo this. I think, no, no, but I think most going to say that it's, it's because she's going to overshoot. She's going to she's gonna pull. She's going to pull whatever she needs, which will be potentially 230.5. And mm -hmm. then Jad will have to pull 235 or 234.5 or something along those lines mm -hmm. to win that match because that's what Jad is focused on. You know, mm -hmm. Jad isn't focused on placing for Sheffield. Jad just wants to win. That's what she is. She's the French. She's the French want to win the battle. And so Jad will need to overload beyond the World Deadlift record. And if she gets it, hooray, it's insane. Everyone's going to go nuts. She's beyond joy at this point, right? But unfortunately, with the way she pulls and you, you see it, she's strong, but that first rep is slow. If it doesn't break off the ground, nothing's happening, right? If we told her to double it, she'll potentially get it for double, you know? Who knows, but I mean, singles yeah. is a bit different. Yeah. So on this weight class, so basically, to be honest, um, up until there on the world record to break, there is only ten thousand pounds to win, because the bench, none of them will get a bench, you know, unless like they've been doing something in miracles, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're talking about the squat and the deadlift. That's what they both will be going for. So, mm. um, again, I think I'm gonna echo what Mo said in terms of like, if um, Natalie breaks it first, Jad will have to overreach. So I'm going to say they will both will be walking away £5,000 each on this one. Um, Fair enough. Sorry. I said 10 bags for Jad, bro, on both score and deadlift. Yeah, that's why that's why you were fired in this podcast because Natalie loved us. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't speak to her, sorry. No, I completely agree with you. It's 5 to 10 for both. Okay, interesting. So moving on on this one, guys. Um, yes, in terms of the numbers on these two, of course, as I said, the world records, let me just go on the world record itself. It sits at 512.5, which is Natalie. Do you think this number will be broken by both or only one person? 100%. Both. Both. Smash it. Both, bro. Has to be both. But it was crazy, like, like the 52 total record isn't even that far off anymore, man. It's crazy. <laughs> madness, madness, madness. So both breaking it and one of the person that will go above. And of course, we spoke about who overrates and all of that between them two. Moving on to the next one, which is um the 63. Again, as I said, no one in the 63 coming to Sheffield. Unfortunately, the 63 of the world. Now you know what to do next year. Your sport is open because Corolla and um, um, Leia are gone. So it's up for grab now. So you guys know what to do. So 69, again, probably this will be the battle of Sheffield. I really can feel it. Three ladies 100%. coming on here. Well, I'm going to start with, I'll start with Temi. This battle, everybody are thinking it's going to be the battle of the day. And that battle of the day probably will be won by one of them that is coming new to the weight class. And but realistically, when you think about it, all these ladies are new to this world class. Leah had to eat up to get to, she's not even 69. And then Carola is moving up now and Agatha is coming down. So really sick, when someone goes to me and say, oh, the person that won this battle is the person coming new. I was like, yeah, all these three ladies are new if you don't know you twat. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> we'll that. 
what how what's your thought on these battles so it's going to be a really interesting battle right so i'm a big fan of leah i think she's done so much for the sport um in terms of um women's um powerlifting right she's really pushed it we've seen her sponsorship with jim shark and all the great things she's doing with silent workers so i love that aspect but it's going to be like i feel like people think she's just going to walk away with it and agatha's like Agatha's some like Agatha's not all there mentally, right? That girl fears nobody. I generally think if it was you against Agatha Durant, she would think she can beat you. Like her mindset is something. Oh, she can definitely beat Joey, but like, yeah. <laughs> I like, should Agatha, hope so. She can like, actually for Joey. Really not gonna lie. Not to, like to just sit with her and just do a psychology kind of breakdown with her mindset. So for me, my money is Ag on Agatha to win it. Um, Agatha is strong on all three lifts. Um, so is um, Leah to a certain degree. But and also Carola. Yeah, I don't know much about her. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know much about her. I, I don't, I, I'm not even going to lie. I don't even follow her. Like, I'm one of those power lifters that I follow people that I'm really inspired by and you know, I really dig into their background and their story and stuff like that. That's why I'm really inspired by Leah because of all her story and her background and Agatha being so young and being a junior and, you know, still showing up amongst seniors and laying it down. And Agatha's not just done it once or twice and she's not just done it in one weight class or two weight class. Agatha's like a piano. She just goes up and down. You know, it just depends on what mood yeah. Agatha wants to be in and what weight class she wants to be in. And that's why I think it's going to be really interesting. For me, though, my money's definitely on Agatha for all three. And it sounds harsh, but yeah. Wow. I mean, so basically what you're saying straight away, Agatha walk away with £15,000 straight here. Bench squat deadlift. Listen, you, I, I, you can't put anything against Agatha. Like, you know, Agatha is the, Agatha, Agatha blah, 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 if I can get her name right, Agatha is a monster. And I think she's somebody that she should be feared. Like her name is, you know how they say Candyman and Bloody Mary, you don't say those names. It's, that's how I feel about Agatha. Like she is a monster. I mean, true, true. She's already the Picasso pile of things. So we've got to have to fear her. Uh, Mo. <laughs> What's your take on these three? Oh, dude, I don't, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. Now, first of all, Agatha is phenomenal. Agatha looks amazing. Agatha has done 590.5 as an 84, and she looks as strong, even though she's stronger. And the reason I'm saying is she's done 240 at 84. She's doubled 240 as a 71. That's just insane. She's cutting and she's retaining her strength, right? So we take the 240 that which you 100% is going to do, go above. We take the 153.5 bench that she posted recently while still cutting. The question is, can she squat? You know, 570 looks like the bare minimum she's going to do. So it's going to be very interesting to see how she performs. But also, Carol Lagara looks amazing also. 210 squat, 144 bench, which was very easy. And she's gone 207.5 on Malta. But I'm looking through her history, and she's attempted 215 before. I like her body weight. It's almost unreasonable for me not to think she's not. She has 215 in the bag now at 69. And we put her 569, roughly 570 range also. We have Leah, who is repping 200 for six. You know, so these women are amazing. The honest truth is, it's going to come down to who gets to stay on the final deck. And that is Agatha, 100%. Because Agatha is the strongest player of all of them. The question is, for Leah and for Carola, how big can I make my subtotal and how much can I hang behind, hang to Agatha with it? So I think Agatha takes it, unfortunately, but it's still going to be one, two, three, could potentially be our one, two, three for Sheffield. You know, it's that insane. So you've got to give them the respect. True. Joey? Well, all I'm going to say is, is that not no one lifter is comfortable at any of the lifts. Like, for example, Agatha has to compete against Carol Car Agara on the bench press. The bench. And and then on a squat, it's Leah and um Carol Agara as well. And then on the deadlift, it's, I guess it's, it, I guess it's Agatha and quite Agatha possibly and Leah. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. So no one's comfortable. So it, it could be the case where because of where they're at and who they're, you know, formidably having to go up against, it may 
make them like you know push more than they need to or you know over over stretch over stretch themselves into like getting that bigger sub total or get that bigger total overall um as a as opposed to who's gonna get the you know the monies out of the bonuses man like for the first time i'm gonna say five bags to each woman in whatever in whichever lift because man it's it's a battle in the in the respective lifts as well as the total overall so it's gonna be one to watch me fucking excited to see and yeah but if in terms of like who i think is gonna like get it like you know i know i know my back here like but I'm... <laughs> I just, no. I, I, I just... <laughs> uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's leo's bag I'm gonna say it's Leah's bag to Leah. have um, for total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna say you know, like just to mention like me doing the numbers. I think five seventy is the bare minimum for this new baby. Yeah, right. legit. So bro. It's gonna be insane. insane. And do you know do you know what's crazy? Like they're gonna beat. Uh, someone's gonna beat. Not there, but someone's gonna beat, or but or two of them at least are gonna beat the Kimberly Wolford deadlift record from way back in 2021. From this three years ago. So that's gonna be exciting to see. Did you say way back three years ago? Yeah, man. <laughs> Mo, you didn't you didn't give us in terms of the money. What who do you think was gonna be collecting what at this point at these three? Very interesting. Now I think I think Corolla takes the bench. Yeah. I think Corolla takes the bench. I think it will be unwise of Agatha to fight that battle with Corolla unnecessarily. Um because I see both of them. <laughs> if I give Corolla a one fifty bench. What the fuck? That gives her a... <laughs> Dude, I can't even comprehend. Um, Carol is winning <laughs> Sheffield with a 150 bench. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, I, okay, you so have to give I have to... The yeah, has Lee is taking the swap. I think Agatha versus Carola will be a very interesting bench battle. But I think it's not one Agatha should focus on because if she overdoes it, she will lose out. On potential total and the chance to actually win this whole meet, and then Delhi, I'm gonna put I'm gonna have to give it to Agatha. 240 double at a reducing body weight is too insane to not respect. She that. did what six reps at 200, and it looked like RP seven. So, yeah. so basically, what you're saying is five thousand pound each. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me, what about you? What about you, Durant, bro? For me, Leah's gonna win this. Is it because of your silent worker thing or what? No, it's because I have got inside in, uh, 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 inside intel. She's gonna win. silent worker, right? No, nothing to do with that. Um, the only reason I'm saying that is the layer that's coming to Sheffield is a layer that probably nobody has ever seen. I know people just be thinking, oh, she's talking so much shit, but if you see what she's done, you just be like, fuck me, Jesus Christ, again. These three ladies are incredible, right? So the reality is, if you ask me, people are talking about 570, 580. I'm talking about 600 for these these ladies. I'm talking about 600. I have 581 one max. One of them. 581 max. One of them will hit 600 or just under. You know, from I am trying to get to 600. A lot, you know, from what I've seen for the three of them, because I talk to the three of them separately. For what I've seen, one of them will hit 600 or just under. But in terms mm. of like, mm. in terms of the Sheffield money, right? That's yeah, gonna hit 600. Yeah, answer, bro. answer Joey, answer Joey. I mean, I'll get to say, well, said Lee is gonna win it, so obviously, let me just say this. Hit 600. Let me just say I want to hear, it, I want to hear it from his mouth. First. Yeah, I'll get to say, Agatha, he's gonna get a call from Agatha. From he's what I'm gonna get a call. You don't think from I'm what I'm saying, I'll get his cable of 600, Lee is capable of 600, and Corolla is capable of 600. What's the he's split? Jaren's just, just entertain me. What's the split you have for one he's of these? <laughs> I'm not gonna entertain anybody, right? Because I'm not giving you the call. <laughs> But you brought it up, bro. You brought it into yourself. The thing is, like, I know we're talking about Agatha getting the deadlift, but I will not write Leah off on that deadlift. Well, I don't know. In, in terms of like the bench press, the only um thing I'm worried about Agatha, I even spoken to Agatha about this. I said, if you are opening with that number that we spoke about on the bench press, I'm scared. Can you also make sure? Can you please tell Agatha like her elbows? <laughs> No, I know. Yeah. That's what I said. Because like, the number... One thing about Leah is, Leah does not like... All three lists are clean. 
Like there's yep. never a gray area with Leo, but actually so, so is so is so is so is Carola. So the only thing bro, the only thing I'm saying Leah's gonna win because I've seen some of the Leah's number she's done. I've seen that, right? That's why I'm going on that fence. But in terms of if we speak about we talk about execution, experience on the platform, all of that, Carola is the scariest beast. She's done equipped, she's done it all. She has experience. She's been on that platform. She's competing with some of the best that ever lived. Do you know what I mean? So all of that is is a bit. I think again, it's going to be a world class to watch. But in terms of the money split across the board, I think to me, I'm going to go in the fence of saying Leah's walking away with five thousand pound on a squat, right? And Carola will walk away with five thousand pound on a bench press, and Leah will walk away with five thousand pound on a deadlift. Wow. Do I mean? So the only reason I say that is because you got I'm inside just, information. I'm just worried about the risk Agatha will be taking. Mm. Do you know, because she's coming in mind again, as I told you, she's coming in mind, will probably hitting six hundred plus, and that is a big overhead. She literally five eighty one gives her the highest potential. That's five percent of the current world record. But, but they're not thinking about it. Did, did you see? I mean, if you listen to the Leah podcast I did, what did she say? If Agatha is coming to Sheffield with 580, 585, she's not winning. I love Leah. <laughs> so I, I love so my Leah. Leah, talk so what more? Talk. So what more? Wait, 586 now. Deep it. Deep it. Five, well, Agatha needs to do 581. She needs to score 185, bench 153.5. They live 242.5. She's fairly close. She could do those numbers with a cop, right? For Leah to do 580, let's say she needs to squat 220, bench 117.5, they live 245, 250. These are, these are insane numbers. 250 <laughs> deadlift at 69 is, she might as well go 76 and dominate there too. No, she might as well go Do you know what else is an insane, insane number? 390. 391, you mean? But anyway, oh, 391, yeah. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even get a 390 anyway. It's okay. Anyway, um, I mean, Mo, those numbers you put there, especially on the score on the bench press, you're way off. You're far off. But anyway, so even more. Yeah. You move okay. moving on. I, I think this weight class, that's why we took long talking about these ladies, but I believe it's gonna be a weight class to watch. This is the one they're gonna get us off it's us. Definitely. I think it's gonna be interesting because it's gonna be like moving chess. Oh yeah, it's, it's going to be amazing to watch. But you know, we already know how where the money is going to go. You guys say five thousand pound each, and I've given Leah ten thousand pound. Don't let me down there. But anyway, moving on to the seventy six again. I mean, Carlina is so scary. It's unbelievable. You know what scares me about her is not the fact that she need competition around her to push her on. She does not need that. You know, she almost like thrive of just being alone. You know, well, so, that's yeah. what she said in one of the interviews. She was like, she just focuses on herself. Like, yeah. no one's her competition. It's just her and the bar. Yeah. You know? So it's a shame to me. It's a shame that she's alone at Sheffield this time around. Which is, I wanted to see, see another seventy six to go up against her. But you know, it is what it is. She was going to give us a show. I'm going to ask this across the board. Do you think Carolina is going to hit? 600 plus oh 100 percent. yeah yep yeah. yeah so how much money she's walking away with on this just just on the single single lifts alone yeah 10 bags which is the score on the dead whoa the score on the dead yeah the dead. yeah bro well i'm i'm that confident <laughs> you man out some different vibe well, but if she if she's getting the debt, then she's in contention to win Sheffield. What can I say? We're talking that. What can so, I say? Like I did say in the beginning that she's coming in hot, bro. She bought she she bought a house and she needed to decorate that house, so she needed a check. So, Mo, how much is she going to win the single lift? I think the score record. I think she would have fun. I can see her one hundred percent loading something insane on the deadlift. Go for it, because why not? You know, with a deadlift that big, she can potentially go 6, 10, 6, 15, maybe even. You know, her bench looks amazing. That 127.5 that she posted was very good. So I see she's smashing the squat record 100%. Um, and then she just loads wherever she needs on deadlift to maybe go fourth or fifth or maybe even third on the podium. Mm. Tell me. 
how much money she's walking away with on a single lift? I want to say 10, but I'm going to be safe. I'm, I'm, I'm talking like I'm playing with my money here, but I'm going to say five, definitely on the, squ um, on the squat. I would like to say um, the deadlift, but I think it might be pushing it a bit too much. I definitely think squat though. Mm -hmm. I think for my take, I think she's walking away with ten thousand pounds on this one. I'm with Joey because that deadlift of Carolina is filthy. You know what I mean? The thing she's been doing that people haven't seen is very, very filthy. We yeah. remember we can only go up <laughs> we see and we're unfortunately we're not these secret spies. Oh yeah, yeah. we're not we're not, yeah, we're, 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 we're not we're not all we like don't have secret contact I mean, I mean, with silent care. worker. We're just I mean, normal power lifters. Don't be like me. I don't give a shit. I talk to people. You guys are unsociable pricks. That's why. I talk to people everywhere around the world, and that's why they tell me what I need to know. But anyway, moving on. I think she's, the reason I'm saying £10,000 on the squats and on the deadlift is because she pulled 260 and then at the national. Even though I told her about it, she was such a prick about dropping that bar, but she explained to me why she dropped it. But the way that 260 moved, to me, I think she has enough strength for her to break the world record at that weight class on the deadlift. So I think you say our uh, um, uh, 261.5, and I think Carlin has gone more than down the deadlift on that day. Mm -hmm. And especially as well, the fact that Carlina will not have another 76 at Sheffield, she's just going to be aiming on that last pull. Do I win £5,000? Or do I pull for placing higher? Or depend where Carlina will be. If Carlina is somewhere like below, like what, fifth, sixth, seventh, she's gonna pull for five thousand pounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? She will pull for five thousand pounds plus what she's got on the squat. That's ten bags. Mm -hmm. you know? But if Carlina is in a position where I need to load a number to push me third, second, or first, then mm -hmm. she's gonna be conservative. Mm. You know what I mean? Not to pull on that, but she has enough strength for that um, five thousand pound. I think I'm gonna pull past her in ten thousand pound there. But in terms, in terms of what we said, going in above six hundred, hundred percent, hundred percent, she's going about above six hundred. She's that's her total. She missed it last time at Sheffield in Malta. It was she in Malta. Fun enough, she did not need it, but I got to surprise everybody how close yeah. she. Came. You know what I mean? So in terms of what way it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Now, moving on from that, guys, to the 84 kilos, which is Amanda Lawrence is in the same probably position as Carlina, you know, in mm -hmm. terms of like, she just need to pick numbers and hit those numbers and moving on. You know what I mean? It's not even yeah. enough. She need to think about what to do or she need to think about how to do it. But however, <laughs> I was just looking about the world record. I was like, can Amanda Lawrence get a world record bench press so I can give her 15,000 pounds? I just realized she can't. You know why? Because Agatha just ruined her life. Yeah. <laughs> because she has got a world record bench press at that weight class. So to me, Amanda Lawrence is walking away with 10,000 pounds easily in this one. You know, I just saw her pulling 265. That's just fucking insane. And yeah, she's walking with 10,000 pounds. She will be breaking the world record squat, breaking the world record deadlifts. You have a good bench press, and it just depends how much she's gonna have to push the six um um forty five um um total she done in the past. But but um, you guys, what do you think Amanda Lawrence will walking away with? Uh, I will start with Temi because that's your weight class. Do you think she has what it takes to walk away with fifteen thousand pound, or is it nah? Definitely 10. Amanda, like, I don't want to sound like a little fangirl, but she has done so much for our weight class. <laughs> literally, it was her and Daniela Mello. And then when Daniela Mello left, she literally has just pulled the weight class. Um, it'll be interesting if Sunita does come down in a weight, um, down, back down to 84 to give her some competition. But she has no competition in this. Stop spoiling the news. Carry on. Oh, but I'm just saying <laughs> she has no competition in this. She never has any competition. She's like in the last three, four years, she's not had any competition. So she has nothing to worry about. She literally does what she does. She puts in her headphones and she executes. So she's walking away with 10 grand because Agatha's bench is phenomenal, you know, but yeah. She's going to do what she does. She'll definitely PV. Well, she'll push the squat and she'll push the deadlift. That's it. 
Durance, you don't have any inside information on uh, Amanda. He Rose doesn't deal French. with Americans like that. It's only the French. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks, well, thanks, Tommy. What about the Kiwis? Yeah, oh, that's, so you, that's you, Joey. The Kiwis are you. Anyway, oh, what do you mean? I don't say what I needed to say. I don't oh, say what I needed to say. Anyway. Like, all the Nigerians are going to be 84 and 84 plus. <laughs> 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 well, and that, uh, what about you, Joey? If on Amanda. Yeah, I mean, yeah, again, it's it's just repeating what you said. Uh, ten bags, but I want to say ten bags minimum. I don't know. I, I mean, it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a show. So I'm, I reckon she'll take a crack at where, however close she can to that bench world record. If you know, if she wants to, I mean, she has every leeway to. She's good, you know. I reckon she's on the pipeline to beat her own squat record, beat her own deadlift record, you know, and then surpassing the total record. So why not? Um. But yeah, 10 bags minimum, but I wouldn't count her out over that 15 bags. Wow, you're, you're so you're so confident. Mo? Optimistic. Um, I think 10 bags minimum also. I think she's going to go squat something massive, bench something reasonable, and then deadlift, go for another five bags on the deadlift. And also, depending on where the other athletes are placing, she might be able to sneak into the top five, you know, which is insane. I mean, I'm looking at the numbers. We're going to talk about Sunita and Brittany later, but... We're basically forecasting every single person on the women's side to break the current world record. 11th and 12th position at Sheffield will have broken a world record. Yeah. That's how insane. Imagine going to a competition, breaking your current world record and not getting any money for it. That is so insane. You know, I'll be pissed off. <laughs> like... What are we doing here? Like, is everyone just going mad or what's going on? Like, these, these are the data sometimes, sometimes people don't realize that type of data. There's 11 women, there's 12 women, 11 of them so far, as we said, they will be breaking the world record store. Mm. That's just insane. But yeah. Um, no, but so if each of them break at least, you know, get break and then keep one world record, then at least it's five bags minimum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, why are you laughing, bro? Britney, Britney would not break the squat record because I think we will. We all agree that Sunita is on a mad one right now. Bench mm -hmm. record, she's a bit far. Jelly record, she's a bit far, but she could push it if she wanted to. Um, I don't know how well Britney's training is going, but she looks like somebody who will break the total record and potentially not break a uh, single like, lift, maybe. Like you know exactly, and then also naturally could be in the same position depending on how Jad um Jad total goes. You know potentially Naomi might be in the same position. It's like they all these guys could break records and still like the total record at least and still not even you know place top ten. It's insane. For me, like it, 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 yeah, it, going back on the eighty four like, that because I didn't give my takes on Amanda. I think I've said is the way Carolina is the same position where Amanda is in terms of like she will pick what she needs to pick. You know what I mean? She will just be looking, okay, where can I place higher in terms of the position? She will walk away with ten thousand pounds, that's easy. Ten thousand pounds in the USD is a lot of money already. That covers pretty much uh, more than two months wages. You know? So um you mean. again, the squats that's what scares me. Because she's gonna destroy that squat world record. I think that's the probably insanely that is one of the world record that Amanda Lawrence will destroy is the squat. Because to, doing that 260 she did in, in, in training, when the world record is only at 249. 46.5. Is it not 49? Is it 49? I think that, yeah, I, I think know that's the last. Okay. Yeah, 49 and more. And then that, that would be insane. That would be insane. And that would give her, if she hit that 260, that's almost like 11 kilos on top of the world record. Yeah, she did 240.5 for four reps. Yeah, you know, and if you do all the numbers. So that's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's hard to pick where she plays. Again, I know she has not been a big fan of the way Sheffield formula is done in terms of like all these world records um, and percentages and all that she has not been a big fan of that but this time she i think she will do better than last year um moving on on the 84 plus before concluding the women again there's two there's a battle here to love to like is insane two friends they're calling themselves friends but i don't believe it because on a platform i think they're going to eat each other 
until they step out of the platform. They say, oh, I love you, Sanita. I love you, Brittany. But anyway, on the platform... Hold on, you can't talk your the same thing with Anna, so, you know, don't worry. I don't hide it. I tell him on the platform I want to eat him alive. I told him I don't hide it. And he doesn't hide it either. That's why he pulled through you. Okay, okay, let's let's move on from talking about eating man, bro. I was gonna <laughs> say, bro. Chris <laughs> was licking his lips too hard there. <laughs> you, you guys are talking like that because you've never had a platform, a, a, a battle like that on a big platform. That, that's what I mean. <laughs> but I don't want to talk about eating man either, so I'm good. Yeah, bro. Don't worry. When you get to that with BBC, then you think about it. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. With um, Sonita and Brittany, I think it's going to be a battle. But again, Brittany is someone that does not lift heavy in training. So you That's cannot true. sit there and tell us Brittany would not be able to squat as much as Sonita. You can't. Mm. You know I, mean? I know Sonita has been doing amazing shit on training. She scored 301. You know what I mean? The other day I said 300. She almost beat me up uh, through Zoom. She said you forgot to the one. So. She scored a 3 or one which is insane. But then we've seen Brittany coming in and doing some insane stuff with her squatting barely 260 to 70 in training. Do you know what I mean? So I expect this battle to be really good. As Mo said, probably Brittany will be a bit conservative for her lift and go for the total world record. But when I had her on the platform, on the podcast, she said she's going for the squat world record. Right. So as much as we're saying she, Sonita is doing madly, but she's going for that. So Sonita, I expect Sonita to score 300 plus. I expect that. And I expect Brittany to not be too far or even... Yeah. If Sonita miss her third, Brittany will get. Will get a record. Simple. You know. So, but anyway, talking about it, it's going to be a tremendous battle. But who's walking away here with checks? Again, I think the 84 plus is a little bit to me. Um, I was looking at the, the bench press. <sighs> it's a bit far for these ladies. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long day. You know, it's a long day. On the squad, I think I, my money on the squad, if you ask me, I think it's on Sonita here. Uh, it's just when someone's scoring 301, 301 in training, you can't just go past them. Um, on the deadlift, I think... They will both will go for the deadlift, but it's a long day. It's a long day right there. I mean, it's a very long, it's a, it's a long day. This is what we're talking about, not even midnight. Um, on the total, on the total, that's where I'm seeing that like, both of them going at it. But again, the conversation I've had with Sunita on the, on the podcast here, I think she's going to walk away with the total. If, if all the numbers she said she will be doing, if she does it, and then we're going to see the 84 plus transcending again, you know, being that way class that probably everybody will talk about. Remember the, the American lady, she's coming. So these ladies have to prove that we can do over 700 because she has yeah. done it. Yeah. <laughs> coming. What's she coming for? Say it again. What's she coming for? I'm not talking about Bonica. Oh. Uh, what's her name? Um, um, Alexis Jones. Alexis Jones. Oh. She's coming. She 721 kilo total. 721 kilos. So that's insane. That's the number with some of the 74s can't even total. Do you know what I mean? And Joey, I'm not going to talk about you. I, I respect you. You're my coach. I respect you so much. But yeah, <laughs> 721 kilo, which is a lot of weight, right? So guys, I, I'm going to uh, put now uh, put it to you guys in terms of like what do you think this how this battle will pan out? Let me start with Joey. Sonita and Brittany. Who's walking what? Uh wait, I I'm gonna say five bags to each one. Um for the one for the squat and one for the deadlift. In terms of walking with the deadlift, I reckon Sonita. Like, you know, she's steady onwards, like towards like pulling insane numbers in the gym already. Um, but I'm not oh, I'm not gonna completely count out um Brittany. For the squat. I would say probably Brittany might do the more safer calls as opposed to like overreaching. Um, I'm just I'm just speaking like tactically here in terms of like who's most likely to overreach, um, you know. But again, I wouldn't count Sunita from getting that as well. But so I, I, at the very best, like or like fair scenario, five k to each um, lifter from the two disciplines, as opposed to who's walking away with the total. It's gonna be a close one. 
but I'm gonna have to back Sunita here because wow, like she she knows what's like most likely gonna come for Wells, so she has uh, shit to prove. Um, you know that seven twenty one ain't no joke. So yeah, uh, Sunita is my pick. Mo, I think I'm going for Sunita. I have Sunita squatting, babe. Maybe what she's squatting in the gym. I don't think she needs to load any more than that. Um, bench, we haven't seen much recent training on bench, so I don't know how bench is going. And deadlift, I believe she will lock in that deadlift with the grip issue. Hopefully, she'll be gone by then. Um, hopefully, the big squat doesn't tax her, you know, because I feel like what well, Brittany's happy just to wait in the wings until Sonita messes up. Yeah, like and if in Sonita the messes up, exactly, she will. Brittany will take it. Uh, but I think just right now, Sonita's pop looks insane, and we have to respect that and give her the win in the doors of the world. Mm. So she's still walking with ten thousand pound debt. Uh, five thousand. I don't think she's gonna break the eighty-four plus deadly record. Timmy. Um. So. I want to say Sunita, mm-hmm. but I don't also want to say I don't want to kind of leave Brittany out in the lurch because. Worlds showed us that she has what it takes and people are always underestimating her and she's mm. showing people time and time again don't sleep on me now obviously Sunita's got um, unofficially the squat record right at 301 um, she was um, benching the other day and I'm looking online she did a single at 142.5 bench and it moved quite well as well so she's definitely in great shape but the hard thing for me is you can never tell what shape Brittany's in and that's the problem you know so but <sighs> Sunita is my girl so I have to stick with my girl okay. so you're saying Sunita because it's a girl interesting take. my girl yes loyalty cool that's fine um, so in, in, in terms of like, for me, I think um, on these two two women, this is just going to be incredible. Um, I think I've said in the beginning, I think Sonitas is walking away with £5,000 on the deadlift, uh, on the uh, squat. And uh, no one, else, I think here, that's where SPD will save money on the deadlifts and on the bench press. You know what I mean? That has been saved, you know? So yeah, um, Ben Banks, you're welcome. So <laughs> this, this one here. But the total on this weight class, I think it's going to be pushed by a lot. Oh, hold on, don't sleep on Sunita's deadlift. I'm just saying. Um, uh, I'm not. I don't want to give too much to everybody that's listening. I, th- I don't think Sunita has got the deadlift to win five thousand pounds on this one, right? So, but she's going to pull big. She will pull pull big compared to um, some of the numbers she's done in the past. Um, guys, in terms of lap now, um. Let's talk about the overall here now. So top three here. I'm just gonna pick the top three, and you of course give me uh, you justify your 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 intake. Why? Let me start with Temi. Who's it? What, what are your top three? Who's your top three? Evie. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm fighting between <laughs> Leah and Agatha and Carlina and then Sunita. That's yeah. four. That's a lot of top threes. Okay, so <laughs> Evie, Leah, Sunita. Oh, okay. That's that was uh, hard. Okay. Um... Oh man, I want to say Evie, Jad, and Natalie Richards. Mo, what do you have, Jad and Natalie Richards, totally? Bro, no one else got asked this, yeah? Just, uh, just answer your question <laughs> and live, let me live life. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I have. Right, and first of all, please, no one said for me, Leah, don't get pissed off <laughs> like last time. Um, <laughs> I have Agatha first, and then I have I have Corolla, and then I have Evie. Hey, sorry, hey, so you left Leah out again, yeah? All right, cool, say less. I, I think, uh, on that, guys, I think we're gonna conclude the ladies. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. 
you better say because I know you they're all your little girlfriends. Nope, nope, nope. Start naming your three. We want to hear your three. Or me. Oh yeah, Jerry's what's oh. your three? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never could look it off. Silent <laughs> working contract here. I think you know, with me, we the stipulations in there. With me, I love all the ladies in the world. You know, I wish them well. I want them to come to Sheffield very strong. I expect everybody to be a winner. Politician, everyone, politician. Everyone is a champion. So we, I'm looking forward to watching the battles. It's the so, taking part that counts. Is that what you're going to say next? I mean, everyone will have the SPD um, package. Regardless, you know what I mean? So it's Say your three, man. I, I think <laughs> talking. on the lady is hard for me. It's very hard. It's hard. It's not because, it's not because I have friends. It's just because... The Bro, you've given a five-minute speech. <laughs> so far. Bro, and it, like, we're moving like Mo here, man. Like, oh, give me, give me, what, who, who you got? What, who you got give for? me the whole epilogy. <laughs> I really want to say some of the names. Uh, um, just say, don't think, just say it, just... Who's your number one? Okay, the top threes, I think they will be the 69s. It will be the top threes. All the 69s. Okay. What ranking? I have yeah. no idea. No, no, bro, no, 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 no. Don't play that game, bro. No, I'm, I'm literally, I'll this. put Leah in fourth. I'm going to die if she okay. goes first. Right. I think Leah is winning. Carol is coming second. And Agatha is coming third. Save Agatha. Then I'll put Evie above. above. I'll put Evie above um, Agatha in that situation, man. Because Agatha is 100%. She has to miss a deadlift in order for that mm, to happen. Yeah. So Agatha has to come fourth and Evie comes in third. Yeah. That's wild, bro. Wild. Anyway, on that note, guys, we're going to conclude the ladies. It's been interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Temi. Thank you, Joey, for coming. It was an interesting Pleasure. change. And um, I hope these ladies come in and prove all of us wrong. They walk away with 15... One person will go fifteen thousand pound before they, they, they rank king. Because so far we've never picked a lady getting all, all three world record. None of mm. them. So I hope this is wrong. So because we want to see that across the board. And um, for all our listeners, if you guys have your pick, drop them in a the comment. If you have anything to say to Temi, Joey, and Mo, say it. If you didn't like, why did you take, put my name in? <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't like the take be honest this is a very transparent podcast we'll be more than happy to bring you in on our podcast and you can talk your shit even if you don't like joey we know there's a lot out there that don't like him so be honest right <laughs> and temi you've never met her on our podcast before we're going to be having her a little bit more often now because now she knows people in powerlifting. She can, she knows if he exists. She knows how Carlina is, Amanda Lawrence is. And the next time I'm going to be asking her, do you know uh, Daniel J? Or do you know uh, Robert B- <laughs> Bermudez? I will well, they, you're just naming names. They don't even exist. See, guys, you hear that? These are actually people that exist. Hold on. Mo, do they exist or is he just making them up? <laughs> Joey, tell me, Robin Bermudez, does he exist or not? Yeah, I saw him told 525 the other day. Sam Jay, does he exist or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He told 632.5 the other day. Thank you very much, Temi. So that just proves oh it. Oh, my day. So, that men, they don't count. So, uh, he, she said they don't count. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. So basically, any man that doesn't total over 600 kilos for Temi, they don't count. So, yeah. Any of you out there, guys, get strong. Joey start counting only last year when he told the 603. This is magic after seven years. So, Bro, yeah. I hit 600 and above three times last year. But you know what? Let's, let's, that's last year's news. Let's, you know. On that Anyways, note, everyone, thank you for listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you for listening, guys. And um, yes, as I said, lads, give us a like, give us a drop your comment and your um, nomination for Sheffield. And then we will be doing the men. This week, and they will drop it on, guys. On that note, peace off.